Today's show is all about fashion and the trends that will guide many of us into shopping local boutiques or perhaps DIY projects. In 2012, my guest started a leather handbag design company called Tony Becca. They're exquisite, they're versatile, fashionable, and a must-have for any dame who loves a tote out of the ordinary. Let me tell you, Mark Jacobs has nothing on this dame. She's a graduate of the Columbus College of Art and Design and uses only the highest quality materials and craftsmanship fit for royalty. Today, we talk with Columbus fashionista, Giovanna Robinson, about fashion trends for 2014. Please welcome Giovanna. Welcome to this episode of Dame's Bond with Mary B. Professional and personal insights provided by women. So welcome to my show, Giovanna. Thank you so much for having me. So where does the name Tony Becca come from? Tony Becca is um, a name that comes from two special people in my life. My husband's middle name is Anthony, so I just shortened it Tony. And then I had a little sister who passed away um, back in 91. Her name was Rebecca. So I just kind of gave them the nicknames for their names, Tony and Becca, and then just did a spin on the spelling. And that's how I came up with it. I love it. Tony Thank Becca. You. Awesome. Thanks. So you're here to talk about fashion trends with me. Yes. And let me tell you, I love your bags. Mm -hmm. So talk to us. What are the trends for 2014? Okay. For two, um, for the summer 2014, um, one of the colors of the year is orchid. So a very vibrant orchid um, color is very popular. And so that's why I incorporated it into my summer trends um, or my summer bag collection. And I have the orchid color and then florals are also very popular this year. That's one of the trends. You'll see them in skirts and you'll see them on jackets and different things like that. So I just merged the two trends together. I love that. Thank and you. And it's a simple tote, you know? It is. It's simple, nice, and you can wear it on date night, take it from day to evening if you don't carry a whole lot, and there you go. Should I be calling it a tote or is that something? It's actually a clutch. It's a clutch. Yes. Get mm -hmm. those things straightened out here. <laughs> so this would be a clutch as well? Yes, ma'am. This is a clutch as well. This is um, my Becca clutch that I made. Made. And um, ostrich and a lot of skins are very popular this year as well. So that's why I used it for the strap. A nice little strap that can just go in and kind of hold your things together. You can tuck it up under your arm. I love that. Thank and you. anything about this color that's uh, fashionable? Yes. Neutrals are everywhere. A lot of light, lighter pastels, but neutrals because they go with everything. So good neutrals like this, a nice brown bag. This can go into the fall as well with you coming from spring and going into the summer. It's a good mm -hmm. color that will go for a while. And what is that one standard thing every dame needs? Every dame needs a tote, a nice black tote. You can take it to the office. If you're running errands, you can run around with it. Again, the skin is incorporated into this tote as well, um, which a lot of people love skins and everything. They add an extra oomph to, you know, a bag. So you can't, you have to have, every day needs a, a tote bag. Now yes. you're doing these all by hand with this yes, beautiful leather. It smells so good in here. <laughs> Tell me, uh, do you have any aspiration of, of, of moving f onward, you know, getting some merchandising or getting other people to make your product? Oh, definitely, definitely. I would love to, um, that's the next step, is to get to the point of manufacturing them because that will free me up to be able to focus on, you know, marketing and everything else and focus on the design aspect of the bag. But definitely, that is a goal of mine. And you have your hands so, I mean, you're, you're, you live and breathe this bag. I mean, your life is in this bag of sort, right? Yeah. How do you let go and let, uh, let a manufacturer take over your baby? That would be very hard. That would be very hard. But you have to do but it. But I have to because I know it will free up my time a little more. It's very time consuming to make the bag, especially, you know, by hand and everything. And um, it, it is hard. It's kind of like when you have children and you let them go to daycare. Right. <laughs> and put them in someone else's hands. So it's definitely going to be hard. But, I'll, you know, I'll be right there through every step to make sure it's, you know, mm -hmm. my dream is completed. Is there anything that you can uh, tell our viewers or give one piece of advice, you know, in terms of um, persevering? Um, yes, persevering. It's going to be hard. There's going to be a lot of a lot of long nights and a lot of um, work that goes into it. But when you're passionate about something and when you love something, all that is just it's part of it. And I think that that pushes me um, 
to just keep thriving and keep pushing no matter what. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, Dame Giovanna Robinson, the the founder and designer for Tony Becca. Uh, I can't say enough about this this dame who is um, passionate about what she does, but more than that, she strives to help others thrive by sharing and lending her expertise as well. That's what a dame does, right? So as we say, when dames bond, dames, dames thrive. thrive. Thank you for watching this episode of Dames Bond with Mary B. Rilato. For more great information, visit the Dames Bond website at damesbond.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Columbus Biz TV Shows.